What's up guys, I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide Cyclery, and today we are going to compare two of the great Maxxis tires, the Minion DHF versus the Minion DHR2. So right off the bat, there's not really much of a contest here. DHF is significantly better. The knobs are a little bit closer to the side lugs. It, uh, man, it just works way better in the dry. The way that this center lug works basically, how it kind of just rolls over, it just hooks the ground better. Uh, it's like no contest. Put this on your bike versus a DHR2, significantly more traction. So right off the bat, no contest, DHR2, it's a way better tire. It's typically lighter than a DHF. It's got more spacing in here. It clears mud better. Uh, it has a better transition between the side lugs and the corner lugs when you're leaning it into the corner. Um, and man, those right there, the rolling resistance, the weight, uh, shit. Comparing these two tires makes me feel like I just got shot in the jugular with a tranquilizer. You're crazy, you're crazy, man. You're crazy. I like you, but you're crazy. So I don't actually have a, a strong preference over either one of these. As you can tell, that was kind of a joke. Uh, I do actually have a slight preference to the DHR2, mostly because it's typically a little bit lighter. And for whatever reason, I subjectively feel like it has better traction and that it does actually clear mud better. Uh, I used to ride DHFs forever. And then when the DHR2 came out and Greg Minar won the South Africa World Cup running it as a front tire and a rear tire, I started trying it out because I thought that was awesome. Now over this hip jump, he's safely over that. Just a step down through. What he's not, is he going to do? He goes fastest. Oh, look at the time. And I kind of fell in love with it. And also, I'm a slight bit of a weight weenie. Um, this is my bike right here. DHR2 has kind of been my front tire of choice for a while now. Um, man, it's, it's so hard to compare these. So both of these tires have the exact same corner lugs. They're just slightly different as far as the center lugs. There's, the thing about tires is a lot of it is kind of impossible to test, right? Like a fresh tire versus a tire that even has five rides on it is gonna feel different. Uh, your terrain, how wet the soil is, uh, the pressure that you have in your tire, the way that you, you know, specifically weighted your body position in that corner, it's really hard to like compare tire versus tire. And when they're like nearly identical, especially the most important part of the tire, which is the corner lugs, it's even harder to tell which one of these things is better. Um, it, they're super similar, they're both amazing. I mean, either one of them is full of traction. And again, tires, like you look at it, you look at the knobs and you kind of make assumptions about it. And that's a lot of the way people judge tires. And then the way that you judge it and perceive it then definitely plays a role when you go out and ride the thing and you kind of like overanalyze and overthink how the thing is actually performing. So um, my opinion, I kind of weigh towards a DHR2 mostly because of the weight and it just feels like in my head and when I ride it that it has more traction and rolls faster. Um, <laughs> That's definitely uh, an opinion, right? So we're gonna dive around and interview some of the different guys at the shop and see which one they like. Almost everyone runs one of these as their front tire. We all kind of switch it up a little bit, uh, play around with different tires, especially WTB. They're making some cool stuff these days. Uh, E13, Schwalbe, but everyone kind of eventually rolls back to Maxxis and they come stock on so many bikes that they're just a super popular tire brand. And these are the two, you know, at least in our eyes, the most popular front tires for trail slash enduro and even downhill bikes. So let's go see what everyone has to say. Raymond, Maxxis Minion DHR2 or Minion DHF? DHF. Why? It rolls faster, it's cooler, I like it more. I mean, no, yes, DHR. Who's filming? You're filming? <laughs> DHR, better for braking. DHF, fast, faster. Faster tire, better. How can you prove it's faster? Because I'm fast as hell, bro. Does it just feel faster, or do you have any scientific research stating that it is real faster? I mean, just... Yeah. Hey, come over here. Good, how are you? Jared, er Jared Erickson. Yes, sir. Maxxis Minion DHR2 or Minion DHF, your preference? DHF. Why? Um, DHR2, I think I didn't get as much grip as I wanted to get for whatever reason. It's not my favorite tire. I like DHR2, it feels like it's got uh, better knobs and for my type of riding and the trails I ride. Simple as that, right? Just ridden them both and one's better than the other? 
I've ridden various sizes and styles of both and compounds. Personally, like the DHF better. I like it. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Come over here. Come over here. Is this about tires? Yeah. I've never ridden the DHR DHF. Tell me later. Jared? Brady, Maxis Minion DHF or DHR2? Go. DHF. Why? I like the knobs on it. Ooh, cool. Jarrett? Same, same. That's it? Same, same. That's it? That's right. Yeah. Same thing. I don't like it. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> Jordan, is that box heavy? A little bit. Maxis Minion DHF or DHR2? DHR2. Why? Because R stands for racing, and racing means you go fast. <laughs> Easton, Maxis Minion, DHR2, or DHF? One or the other? Uh, yeah, which one do you like best? I think I'm going to have to go with the DHR2, because when I ran a DHF 2.5 on the front, it was too wide and kind of gave me a weird slipping on, like, not so aggressive corners. So you just like the 2.4 DHR2 then? More of a size thing, huh? And a little bit of a slipping thing? Yeah, size matters. Yes, size and slippage do matter. Very much so, I agree. Thank you. Zach. Maxis Minion DHR2 or DHF? DHR. Why? Because it's the best tire. What's better about it than the DHF? It rolls faster than the DHF. Um, it works really great in the front over loose, over hard stuff. Um, yeah, it's just a faster tire. Good talk. Thank you. I got two phones, one for the plug and one for the load. I got two. Chance, Maxis Minion DHR2 or DHF? DHF. Why? Bigger knobs. Everybody loves bigger knobs. The knobs are exactly the same on the corners. They look bigger. They look bigger? From what I've seen, yeah. <laughs> More grip. Tyler, are you busy? Yes. Can I ask you something? <laughs> sure. Maxis Minion DHR2 or DHF? Uh, I can't tell you the difference, to be honest. That's the best reply I've got all day. Thank you. Patrick, Maxis Minion DHR2 or DHF? Uh, Maxis Hookworm. That's a slick tire. Yes. Good talk. They're rolling existence. <laughs> Farva. DHR2 or DHF? Are we talking front or rear? Both. Uh, both. Probably should have clarified that the rest yeah, of this time. So, uh, pretty much I just run a DHF on the front and a DHR2 on the rear, and I love that setup, so that's, where, that's what I'm currently running with. I also like the aggressor on the rear, so maybe uh, switching up between the aggressor and DHR on the rear, DHF on the front. That's my jam on my transition smuggler that's for sale. <laughs> his, his bike's for sale. Somebody buy his bike. Dominic, any thoughts on the DHR versus DHF? Those bike tires? Yeah. No thoughts. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the feedback from real live people. Real people. Here we go. So, as you can see, tires are widely personal preference, and people's opinion on tires, at least in my brain, uh, widely has to do with their particular overanalyzing and assumptions on the tire and what the tread pattern looks like, and then how it, they think it feels on that particular day when they ride it. It's just kind of a hard topic, um, and these things being so identical, uh, you shouldn't overthink it. You should just buy one because they're both really damn good tires, and they have a ton of traction. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Do you prefer one over the other, or do you prefer an entirely different brand than Maxxis or a different front tire from Maxxis? Share and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.